President Cyril Ramaphosa has stepped forward in defense of the Electoral Commission of South Africa, IEC, amidst the escalating confrontation with the former President Jacob Zuma regarding his candidacy in the upcoming elections. Following a ruling by the Electoral Court allowing Zuma to remain on the parliamentary list of the Umkonto Wisizwe Party, the IEC sought to recall from the Constitutional Court. The ruling overturned the IEC's decision to sustain an objection against Zuma's candidacy for the 2024 national and provisional elections, prompting the Commission to seek clarity on the interpretation of the Section 47 e of the Constitution. At the heart of the dispute is the interpretation of Section 47 e which delineates the conditions barring a convicted individual from holding a public office. Advocate Dalim Pofu, representing the MK party, contended before the electoral court that Zuma's three months imprisonment, followed by a sentence remission, rendered his initial 15 month sentences irrelevant. Mpofu further argued that the IEC lacked the authority to enforce Section 47. Addressing the media during an ANC campaign in Cosmo City, President Ramaphosa emphasized the apolitical nature of the IEC, stressing the importance of defending its independence, along with that of the courts. Responding to accusations leveled against the IEC, particularly the call for the resignation of Commissioner Janet Love by the MK party citing bias, Ramaphosa underscored the collective decision-making process within the commission. Ramaphosa also addressed Zuma's criticism of the IEC and the Palapala farm scandal, highlighting the commission's mandate to facilitate elections rather than interfere in political matters. Zuma expressed his dissatisfaction outside the High Court of Johannesburg, asserting his right to participate in the electoral process and hinting at unfinished business from his presidency. In response, the IEC clarified its stance in a statement reiterating its commitment to ensuring free and fair elections by seeking clarification on constitutional provisions. The Commission emphasized the necessity for a swift resolution before the election date to maintain electoral integrity. At the legal battle in Sioux, Zuma remains resolute in his assertion of unfinished business from his presidency, underscoring the significance of the impending election scheduled for May 29th.